back to EA Sports. Game number four is set to go. There has been no shortage of intensity in this series. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Sean. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a block stop by Shepard. Stop that one. Scores! And look at that. The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. Now talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Coaches love these kind of goals, James. When you have sustained offensive pressure, you're wearing your opponent down consistently, whether it's the cycle or whether you're creating motion and lanes to the net. Everything they did was right here. You can feel this one coming. They finally convert on their chances. Charlotte's on the board already, and I don't think everybody's even found their seats yet to this one. Yeah, I just looked up for my notes here, James, and they'd scored. I mean, they just exploded out of the gate, and right off the hop, you can tell that they have their legs tonight. Let's see how much offense they can generate. I love it. Dishes it to Huntington. Hard hit, frees up the puck. He got all of that one. Sends the puck across. Hammers the shot, and he gets in front of that rocket. The Checkers have been the busier team on the ice, and the score shows thus far. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. From behind the net, great save from in tight. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Checkers lead it 1-0. And a delay penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. And let's see what the call is. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. And a man advantage unit comes out to go to work. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. of your passes and you're able to move the coverage. That's exactly what they did and they're able to convert. And they win that draw center. Puck grab by Benning. To the oh, just a great heads-up play by Rubinsky. And he'll lock the puck back inside the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a shot. It's in the back of the net. He scores! I love this snapshot from in tight, James. That beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill but you got to have the will. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Bears have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Charlotte's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. From off the wall and onto his stick. Of a twig as he puts that one away. Pushes it across to Giles. The Bears gain control of the puck. Feeds the puck to Frank. Up and off the wing. Here's a shot. Great save by Knight. Moves with the puck at the corner. And that was off a player in front. The 
checkers the play from the defensive zone. And loses possession after a solid hit. That opportunity is rejected. I've never been a goaltender except in road hockey, James. But I tell you, if you take one off the mask, you got to be rattling. But nonetheless, he finds a way to get the save. That's what you got to do. Put everything in front of it if you want to make the stop. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Hershey's looking to break out. Now he takes it over the line. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Charlotte's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Here's a short pass to Snively. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Knight. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Fires it on net. Dolly with the stop. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Checkers have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Nice job tying up his opponent. Here's a pass to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Moves it to the middle, a blast! Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. The Bears win the defensive zone face-off. Across the line and on the attack. Here's a feed in front. And that shot's blocked. Moves it quickly over to Ness. Score! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Charlotte's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. Shot! Oh, I think that goes off the mask, and it stays out, and the play continues. Trying to get the puck away from the inferno here. Penalty coming up here. Fitzgerald's going to serve a pair for interference. The Bears get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. Knights opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Gains possession with both centers all tied up in the draw. He grabs the puck here at the point. And he takes the feed. That's moved to the middle. Scores! A power play goal puts them in front. Well, and this was a huge opportunity that they took advantage of, James. They were urgent on the puck, but they also showed poise and patience. Power play strikes, James, and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. The Bears are making the most of their opportunities here in this opening frame with the early lead. Yeah, it's been back and forth play here, and they've competed. James has been a good game, but now they get the go-ahead goal so they can play with more confidence. Charlotte's won the draw in the neutral zone. Pumps the puck away. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Great save by Shepard. 
Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The checkers are looking to even things up despite the fact that they've had more shots, they still trail in the first. Hershey's got it in the defensive zone. Skates across the blue line. Quick shot, makes the save, but barely with that one. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Gains the zone along the right wall. Dumps the puck in. Works it across to Huntington. And now it's grabbed by Giles. And he's knocked off the puck there. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And a solid stop on the play there. Puck moved over to Benning. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Charlotte's looking to break out of their own end. Into the offensive end now. Puck scooped up by Massey. Hugs the board through the neutral zone. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The checkers have been called for elbowing. They'll serve two in the box. surprised to see the 1-3-1 again they had success on it earlier James and listen I love this I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player you're taking away the eyes of the goaltender but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option so multiple variations that can strike hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight another big face off here on this power play Hershey's won the draw they'll go to work Scores! and that's First career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Hershey's taken a two-goal lead already here in the first period. They look dominant tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, they've been terrific tonight, James, and they've been able to execute. They've thrown a lot of pucks to the net, but they've managed it extremely well. They've opened up their own lanes, and they've got the opportunities. The Bears take it along the wall. Here's an opportunity. Knight's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. More than half the frame has been played here. Hershey's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Here's a change. The checkers win the draw on their own end. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Mayhew. Takes the pass. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. The Bears once again send out their power play unit. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Asplund's won it in their own end. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Great feed from the left side. Takes a shot. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Cannon of a shot. Checkers get their man back out of the box. Denies him with the pad. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do, and they got out there, they were responsible, and they took care of business. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes 
sideways. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. And somehow he hangs on. Moves it to oh, so good. What a stop! Now that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Sends it quickly to McElrath. Oh, what a little beauty stop right there. What a great job of trapping the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Here in the later stages of this period, Hershey's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Off the drop, he ties up his opponent. Quick pass to Fitzgerald. They put the puck into the offensive end. Quick pass over to Huntington. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Present your ticket stub from tonight's game and receive up to 10% off of your meal at Bunsville Burgers Family Restaurant. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Hershey's coaches will be loving that first period, James. I mean, it was a real impressive start. You can't script it any better than that. You dominated possession time. You executed, so it translated into offense. Now they got to find a way to keep it the same, push through the second, and try and put in a full 60 minutes. Oh, can't finish. Play well, can't finish, but a great opportunity right there. Gets his stick on him as he's crashing the net. Handles the pass. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. He's in a high danger scoring area. He's got a bit of time, but he knows he's going to have coverage come to him right away, so a quick snapshot, and he buries it. The Bears are having one of those nights, Cheryl, that everything that can go right is. Yeah, it's all going right, James, because they're doing everything right. They've been dominating play in all three zones, and they've been rewarded for it. Taken by Fitzgerald. Charlotte's through center and now in the offensive end. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Made the stop on that play. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Let's get the call. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Decision. The Bears are going to be short-handed as they are called for tripping. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Good hit on the play. Setting up behind his own net now. Slides the puck to roll. Here's a chance on the attack. Taken along the wall by Snively. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Here's a block. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Playing big in the moment there. And as he skates back out onto the ice, it's a brief power play. They'll have to go to work here. And he was ready for that one. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even 
strength. Coach will be happy with that. James didn't make the PK unit move. Well, you can't do that. You're going to find your way marching over to the box. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. position because he tracks and reads the play so well and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity Rubinsky's won the draw deep in the defensive zone up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area here's a chance behind the net Musa quickly over to and all over their opponent tonight. They've been dominating in all areas of the game, in particular possession in the offensive zone. This one goes right off of the post. Otherwise, they would have an even bigger lead than this one. Picked up along the wall by Fitzgerald. Into the attacking area from the left side. Takes it into the slot. Scores! And a huge goal to pick themselves up off the canvas. Wow, my old coach used to say to me, you got to stop the bleed and that's exactly what they've done, but now they got to find a way to do something with it. I mean, they have been manhandled this game. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Charlotte's apparently just shown up for this one here, Cheryl. Yeah, they get on the board after being shelled all game. They haven't had many shots on net either, but now they've got to find a way to be aggressive, play physical, and really send a message. The mindset has to change here. Listen, they've got nothing to lose. They might as well go for it and attack. Oh, and a rattling hit right there. Uh, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Presence known on the ice. The Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Puts it on net. Love save made by Knight. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Hershey's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. The Bears will start off on the attack after winning the draw. That's gloved by Knight. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Hershey's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. The checkers win the draw. Gaining momentum along the wing. Fires it! Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. The centermen glide into position. Up and down. 50 50. 
Charlotte's won the face off. Here's an offensive chance. Back to the blue line. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. The checkers gain possession. Steps across the blue line. Scores! And a huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Charlotte's finally got the counterpunch they need. Now, can they do it again, Cheryl? That's the question. Well, they need the knockout punch, don't they? And if they're going to get two and claw their way back in this one, but the momentum's in their favor right now, but it's their choice to do something with it. Quick feed to Beccioni. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. The Bears take possession of the faceoff. Too many bodies in the way. Oh, what a save in front. Looks to pass it to Mayhew. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. The Bears are stopped in one Incredible, James. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. Goaltender gave up nothing as it hits the outside of the post and will play on. The Bears take it along the wing. Here's a chance and makes the save. Puck picked up by True. The checkers played along the wing. Moves it to the middle. And that chance is blocked. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Bears have a decided edge in the shot department and also in the score as well here in the second. And they win the face off and set up to go on the attack. What a stop! Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Answer the call on that play. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. The Bears have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. The checkers start with the puck in their own end. And he makes a save there. Great reach with the poke check. Unable to reach that one. Charlotte's got possession of the puck. The checkers will play into the neutral zone. Great four check by Carlson. Scooped up along the wall by Massey. Shepard's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Charlotte's got it, and they're on the attack. The puck by Grange. Shepard's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. He's lugging the puck. Tries to get it over to Snively. Charlotte's got it in their own zone. The checkers played along the boards. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. When you're one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, you want to make them move first, and this is exactly what happens as the shooter just outweights the goalie and gets the room up high. Great glove high shot. 
The Checkers will look to build on some momentum here before the period closes out after that goal. They need to continue that momentum as it nears the end of the second, and they want to carry that energy into the intermission. Real important that they can have an opportunity to collect themselves and come out strong in the third. Charlotte's offensive pressure has resulted in an equalizer here tonight. As an athlete, you always know the end of the period is critical time and you want to maintain pressure and you want to gain momentum heading into the third. That goal did just that. Brindamore has won the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Huntington. He takes it across the blue line. And he takes the dish. He's got a little jump. Looks to set up at the point now. Shoots it. Oh, a save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Huntington's got it in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Bears gain possession along the wall. Hershey's got it in their own zone. The Bears cross the line and gain the zone. Grabbed along the board by Huntington. And that goes off a body. Here he is in close. Quick pass to Giles. Takes a shot. Big save just as time runs out. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. The Bears carried along the wall. Oh, there's a great stop by Knight. Here's a short pass to Mayhew. Goes right to the crease. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Denies him again. Feeds the puck up to Beccioni. Can't hang on after that hit. Steps into the offensive end. Shot comes up with the stop. Knight's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Hershey's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. She's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Slotted away with the stick in the defensive zone. 
and gained the zone from the left side. Great reach with the poke check by Iorio. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Tries to feed it over to Snively. Picked up along the boards by Rowe. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Keeps possession on the play. The Bears have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot! Oh my goodness, it stayed out! What a save! It was all about in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they can low here now. Wow, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good? You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. Passes it over to Giles. Along the half wall with the puck. Giles explores options behind the net. What a save by Shepard. The Bears have it behind the net. Quick pass across to Frank. And he slides it quickly to Massey. On the attack along the boards. Charlotte's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. won the draw. Poked away at center by Hofer. Charlotte's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, he got rocked and dumped right into the opposition bench pounder. Oh, and half the bench is up, right? They want to see what the heck's going on. And on the other side, he's in the laps of his opponent. You got to collect yourself and get out of there. Stopped by Knight. Slides it over with pace to Dalpy. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Quick shot. Denies him. He got all of it. And the puck's booted away. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Moves it quickly over to Delphi. Hershey's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Delphi's got it in the defensive end. Takes the feed to the left side. Heads to the back of the net. Shepard. We know the goaltender was set to this position square to the shooter to be able to make that club save. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. There's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Scoops up the puck now. Ness has it in the defensive end. Now over to Rowe. Handles the puck. Be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And he takes the feed. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Hershey's won the defensive zone draw. Here they come. With possession along the wall. Can't get it to go. Here's a shot. Puck grab by Mayhew. Can't keep a hold of it. The checkers will play it from the defensive zone. Quick feed to Mayhew. The Bears pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. And that'll free up the puck. Charlotte's in a much better position than they were earlier in this game. That's because of their resilience and tenacity on the puck. They never gave up. A no-quit attitude, and they're back in this game. Hershey's got the puck. Ostland's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. Here comes the official's call. Fitchy on the stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Send their men advantage unit out once more. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man is if ineffective. Off target! He gets a great look at the net, but it is way off target. It can be fast, it can be hard, but it's got to hit the net. The Bears get a hold of the puck under man. 
some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. They move the puck out of harm's way. Moves it to Benning. The checkers move the puck in the defensive zone. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Here we go, pucks in deep. Carlson's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. into the offensive zone. The checkers work it through center. Charlotte's on the attack. Oh, stick save and a beaut. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Takes it across the blue line. Receives the pass. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Here's a change. The checkers win the draw. Poked away in the offensive end. Fires it into the offensive zone. Fitzgerald's taking it from his own end. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. And it's kicked away. Hershey's looking to break out. Sends it to the middle, and that's stopped. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Hershey's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. Ness hit, not viewed as a good one in the eyes of the officials charging the call. Charlotte special teams have another big opportunity to deliver here. A successful power play, although it has been that tonight, it has to perform at the right times, and this is one right now, a critical moment to continue to execute. Corner dump in. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Huntington. Fires it on net. Comes up with a stop. Quick pass to Asplin. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Big head on the play. As it looks like the pane of glass is broken. Well, the good thing is, James, that the glass doesn't shatter like it used to, and they can just replace the pane, but they'll have to do that because everything is about safety first. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. The checkers win possession here in the open ice. Good use of the body on the play. Nass is up and ready to go. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Turn aside with the glove by Shepard. We're going to face off after the puck stays coming up. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone face off. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Slip feed. The checkers will play in their own end. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Rabinsky. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. The Bears have played the puck from behind the net. Hershey's been battling this entire game, and it's been back and forth and still tied. They were looking to get the go-ahead goal there with that good look. It goes off the pipe. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. The Bears win it. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the horn. Neither team giving an inch to each other tonight. And so we'll go to overtime next. Players are back on the ice. They're set as 
of the officials. Overtime. Let's find out. Will we get a winner? Time to find out. It's overtime. Shot. Here's a shot. Oh, club save and a beauty. But goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Ness scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. Moves it over to McElrath. Here's a chance. Simple stop by Knight. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Oh, it stops him again. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. A critical draw here. The Bears win the draw. Takes the feed. The checkers have it now. Gains the zone. Puck dumped in. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Looks to get the puck over to McElrath. And now it's grabbed by Fitzgerald. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick shot! Stopped by the goaltender. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Pass back to the point. Game on a stick! Blocked in front. Across the line and on the attack. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Takes the pass from the left wing. Charlotte's got control of it now from their own end. They've got some momentum here. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Hershey's got a hold of the puck now. Nice zone entry from the middle. Over the line they come. Moves the pass in front. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Cruz won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Here's a short pass to Frank. The checkers pick up steam and are on the attack. And that's not the way. Here's a chance! Zone moving the puck along the side. The Bears have it now. Takes the return feed. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Benning stick handling in his own zone. Pass stolen in the open ice. Takes a shot. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Well, such a tough penalty to take in overtime when the pressure is on, James. Now they've got to try to survive this and extend the game. Another sense of urgency for this man advantage unit as they go back to work. Power play in overtime. You know the players, the heart rate is elevated. They're on their toes. Coach's responsibility to settle them down, remind them of their systems so they can get out on the ice and execute. And now he moves it quickly, looking to end it! And he denies it with a monstrous save here in overtime! They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Asplund's won it in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Mayhew. Here they come on the attack! Takes the puck at the point. Looking to end it! Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength.
Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Power play has been very good tonight, James, but at this critical point, it has to continue that trend, and sometimes the stick can get a little tight when the timing is different. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Massey. Quick feed to Prisky. He carries the puck up along the wing. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Their man's now out of the box, and they'll take advantage on the power play. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Clears the zone, and they needed that. It's such a great play, James. I mean, at this time of the game, you have to find a way to get the puck out. You're under a lot of pressure. you got to be aware of everyone and where they are on the ice, and you get the clear. Great play. And they get the puck out. frisky has got the puck in his own zone. The Bears can't take advantage of the overtime power play. That's a deflating one, James. Power play in overtime, and you don't execute. You can see the bench right now. They were standing. Now they're all sitting. The Bears move to the offensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Hershey's got it along the wall. Grabs the puck. Sends it across the ice. Slides the puck over. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. For the win! And he keeps it alive! What a stop! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Rose got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Nowhere for that shot to go through. One-timer takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Cruz won a big draw on their own end. Oh, and he puts it wide of the net. Ron, this is a near miss, James. You're trying to be accurate. You know how good the goaltenders are, and you just missed by a few inches. Handles the puck at the point, and that goes off the player. They are swimming around like bees here in the O zone. Tenacious effort, and they get rewarded with the OT victory. And that'll do it from this one here tonight. For all of us at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.